All right, this is from the book, The Mineral Fix. It's really just captivating me. I'm highlighting every other freaking sentence. I can't even read it because there's just highlights everywhere. But this idea here of suboptimal minerals, minimum minerals, mineral lacking, and then optimal minerals, right? So look at this. A large percentage of the general population has a suboptimal level of at least one mineral in their body. For example, there's a big difference in preventing a frank nutrient deficiency such as scurvy, which causes bleeding gums and visible bruising, okay? Versus a suboptimal intake of vitamin C, which increases your risk of cardiovascular disease. Again, you might be getting enough to not have scurvy, but you might not be getting enough to not get heart disease, okay? So for example, preventing scurvy only requires 7 to 10 milligrams of vitamin C per day, whereas to fully saturate all body tissues with vitamin C and provide optimal antioxidant protection, around 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day or more is needed. That's just vitamin C. What about magnesium, zinc, electrolytes? If you're not getting enough, if you're lacking in some ways, if you're not eating a whole colorful real food locally based diet and you're eating at restaurants and seed oils and you're eating out of packages, you are highly likely to be deficient in one or more minerals. And the most common is from this chart, Chromium, magnesium, zinc, calcium, manganese, selenium, potassium, iron, copper, molybdenum, phosphorus, and sodium. These are the most common mineral deficiencies. And this is 2001, so this might have changed a little bit. I suspect that uh, magnesium and chromium are still up there. It's why I talk about magnesium so damn much. It's why our magnesium complex have just become quickly our best-selling product at Wild Foods. Because it's got seven forms, highly bioavailable. 450 milligrams of elemental magnesium, actual magnesium per 500 milligram dose. Most brands are like 10 to 20% total magnesium and the rest is filler. Check these out. Think about or even look at the foods you're eating in, in your diet. Look at the levels of this stuff and then even consider a hair mineral test. Game changer, by the way. And if you're not gonna do any of that, okay, which I understand, like, okay, I get it. If you're not going to do that, then just start taking some damn supplements. Start taking some magnesium. Maybe throw in an electrolyte blend like this. And then see how you feel. And if you feel better, then it's probably a sign you were deficient. And then maybe go a bit deeper. Maybe supplement more. Maybe get this entire list and take it throughout the day and then see how you feel. And if you feel better, then make that your new routine. That is how you, N equals one, right? Self-experiment.